Hello and welcome to Comparing and Ordering Integers. Uh, this video is meant to be a review for students who have already learned this and just want to review it a little bit. So in the directions, we're being asked to replace each circle with a less than, greater than, or an equal to sign to make the sentence true. The first sentence has negative one with a circle and negative six. All you have to do is determine which one is larger. Now, one of the things you can do is draw a number line or look at a number line and determine where negative one is, it's right here, and determine where negative six is. Um, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six would be somewhere out here. Numbers to the right are always a larger number. So negative one is farther to the right than negative six, so negative one is larger. Use a greater than symbol. You don't actually have to memorize the name, you just have to have the open part of the greater than symbol open towards the negative one. A lot of teachers in the younger grades will teach us as an alligator, and the alligator always eats the bigger thing. So the alligator's mouth opens to the negative one because it's bigger. Problem number two, you have negative three, circle two. And again, you find those two things on the number line. Two is where the two is, it's right there, and negative three is over here on the left of zero. My hope is that you know that because two is positive, it's automatically bigger. But the process would always be the same. Two is bigger than negative three because two is farther right on the number line. So we use a less than symbol. Negative three is less than negative two. All you have to remember is that the mouth of the symbol opens towards the two. Again, the alligator eats the bigger number. So that's comparing integers. Next, we're going to go over graphing integers. So draw a number line that contains each of the given numbers. When you're given a problem, you want to draw a number line that has all of them. You cannot just draw a number line with the numbers given to you in the set. I can't just draw a line with negative two, zero, negative four, one, and three. I have to draw a number line with the numbers in order. From zero, you have one, two, three, and four on the right, and negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four on the left. And you can go as far as you want until all the numbers in your set are covered. You're then usually gonna be asked to graph the numbers on the number line. Graphing the numbers on the number line should be very straightforward. Just take the numbers in order. Negative two, you find negative two, you put a dot on the number line right at the hash section. Zero, you go to find zero, you put a dot. Negative four, you find negative four, it's over here on the left, you put a dot. To graph the number one, it's one to the, or it's one to the right of zero. And to graph three, you find three, you put a dot. And that is all you need to do to graph integers on your number line. 